Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer Rogue Trader. Uh, my name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Unfair Plus difficulty, meaning harder than uh, normal Unfair oh, difficulty. Uh, we are on an unknown service. planet and are trying to find out uh, what exactly is happening with the Drukhar <laughs> raid, uh, raid here. True already killed quite a few of them and found parasites as well I as the typical Drukhari massacring. Unexplored. So uh, that's not a surprise so far. What has been a surprise is just how good the builds were wor uh, working. We're a little bit lacking on the defense, true power. but we're going. Uh, we're kill. very well on the offense. This here looks like a trap. Let's seize the opportunity. You know what? Might as well run into it. Powers your resistance is covered by ashes. Good that. Uh Saiken is standing over here. Jay can help here, and Elliot is taking that side. All right, let's start the battle. I will triumph. Rydia, Anything as always, is. begins to no self-injure herself. Good. Where do I put that zone? Maybe here. But of course. Make it stronger and people Anything can move is? there. Cool. Stop. Mocking me. That's a good hit. That's an excellent hit. You dodge a bit. Should have used this. Um, and you know what? Might as well increase what? the damage here. Was that you? Or Let's go. Wow, why is this dealing no damage whatsoever? One to Psy rating plus uh, Psyker staff levels of damage. What well, this here is dealing really solid damage. The staff does not seem to do that. Until the end of combat, all burning conditions will deal 14 more points of damage. Well, that's fine. I don't mind that. What I mind is... Uh, 
that we're not that we're not properly being um, that we're not properly hitting with our uh, with our inferno here. I don't understand that. Good, moves up. With grace and malice. Build. And we're nicely hitting, but aren't really killing uh, this guy. Okay, we need kilts and we need them now. This plus I am not your that plus that. And we're ready. Hmm. Can we can we dish out more damage? No. These guys have too much armor, right? Yeah, 80%. That's the problem here. We need armor breaking. Good, that's a fantastic hit, and that's almost a kill. I am not your Zeno's pet, monkey. Don't get that and linchpin. And please, Sidira, show us how it's done. We'll do. Good, that's more like it. What? Was that you? Or One, two. Anything else? Three, four. Five, six, and this tedium is beneath me. Everybody here takes extra damage. Okay, that's more like it. One hit. Almost a kill. If it serves your cause, I deal death with my hands. Might as well put a trap down here. I am all right, back to Jay. We have a lot of extra turns and we're already again full. Uh, that's a nice little 
zone. Um, what else could we get? Oh, <clears throat> yeah, that's not bad either. Good, let's Don't start with this. Unfortunately, they are uh, dodging. Couple of toxic bursts, very well. Should have used... Should have used um, our tactical we'll advantage beforehand, but... That was too bad either. Uh, we can't use bring it down. We have used it too often this round. And we're full of veil degradation. That which is never good. Okay, you get some buffs. Because I feel bad for you. If it serves your cause, if I must, I am not your Xenos pet monkey. All right, we're trying again with Jay. This time, hopefully, a little bit better. That is an option. What do we have here? Take aim. The target's next attack will ignore cover and will have double the effective distance. If the target is under the effect of voice of command, can we target ourselves? No. Too bad. But that would be an easy way of uh, getting these guys down. Good. This is for a little bit of momentum. And here we go. Shot into a miss, uh, which is not good. But then the toxic burst worked out very well. Abelard, it's not even round number two. Crazy, right? It will be done. Abelard charges in. I will do Keeps both job. of these guys on him. Counter-strike stuns and hits them. Good. Opening. Move to here. Move to there. And I would love to get another opening, but unfortunately that's not how it works. Theoretically, a heroic action. On it. We're, we're early, early round two. It's crazy just how little that is not my <coughs> time is passing. If I must, 
the soul slips beyond the veil. Fantastic. Like I said, damage, okay, but uh, defense from time to time, a little bit lackluster. Even as ice sculptures, these faithful continue to beg for the Emperor's salvation. Playing the recording produces quiet whispering. Glory to the Divine Creator, glory, glory, glory. Something is blocking it from the other side. Okay, there is a room here and it is being blocked off, which means there must be a way of getting in there. May the faithful partake in the Emperor's immortality and find solace in his crimson embrace. Intriguing. They gave the Emperor a couple of steel wings. Don't waste my time. How interesting, okay. My whispers crave Fun fact, payment. the Emperor never wanted to be worshipped. <coughs> he, matter of fact, uh, killed most of the ones that were uh, trying to worship him because he was strictly opposed to religion in all forms. Let's seize the opportunity. Hmm. Okay, well. The world trembles beneath my feet. Not sure how we are going to continue here. I mean, clearly Embrace the fight here must power. have opened up any uh, anything, right? Like you're not just killing a couple of servitors and then you're like, okay, well, never mind. This is a dead end. The world will bow. Maybe something is in here. May your soul weeps the lament. Now let's talk about how you can love Emperor's flesh and spirit even more. How you can close, uh, come closer to his divine immortality and life. And after we die. Hmm. Not 100% sure. I tread a path unexplored. Let me try a couple of things here, guys. <laughs> Alright, I tried it all, but there was just no way of getting behind that door. Which is unfortunate. And I think by now, we have pretty much everything on this planet, right? Yeah, pretty much. Down there was where we've just located uh, that little cave in the servitors, which was a neat little gimmick, but I think that's pretty feet. much it. Right, the God Emperor gives us one nice little explore. last gaze, and then that is it. Okay, interesting planet, interesting hive world. And also interesting that you would have kind of those servitors there. Just to fight them, and then there is no payoff. They didn't even provide you any loot. Could be that this is like one of those situations where the game isn't really fully done or they removed something. I don't know. So, anyways, 
I think um, last episode and this one showcased our misfits party quite well. And I think they actually did relatively well, all things considered. So time for us to make our way to the north uh, west. That night the Lord Captain and some crew uh, members awoke to beautiful music. Let's have a check what all of our colonies are doing. So for Foulstone we're waiting for holy ammunition, so more Drusarian reputation. I think here we wanted to have the savior feature each time an LA is healed. Uh, or what? The, the Xenovectus, uh, uh, Xenovivisectionist isn't bad either. Let me check this real quick. Alright, I've decided to just cut out uh, the colony management. Not because it's not fun, but realistically, I think it is not as interesting as, as other stuff. Um, what I will do going forward is I'll just go system by system and see if anything has happened whilst we're going to that northern uh, system. There are a couple of individual uh, new things, I think. Um, now we have been with those... All right, a couple of things have moved since the last time. Good, that was the the uh, shipwreckers uh, that uh, that uh, were salvaging the ship, and apparently they have uh, gone somewhere else. I'll fast forward until the next interesting thing that happens. Alright, so fast forwarding a little bit. We made it all the way to the northeast uh, where we are now following Heinrichs's mission um, and are investigating an unknown sector. So that's really why we came here for and we find ourselves with a distorted star and a couple of other interesting things. In the meantime, I build up our uh, our colonies and we're now at the profit factor of 149 plus as you can see quite a bit of material all around so when we are looking for other options yeah we could give up more profit factor but i don't like that and maybe a little bit of xenotech nah not even that all right, let's go and uh, take a good look. Uh, we're scanning. We could use some phlogiston. Uh, Promethium. Seven. Oh, that's good. Let's extract it. I like it. You good. The distorted star. The surface shimmers like a myriad of hues. The dance of colors fascinates any who dare to glance at it. The playful colored pattern appears on the vessel's augures in a wide variety of spectra. From unfreighted to ultraviolet, every voidsman knows that such an emission is a dangerous organic matter, and the master helmsman reviewer asked the crew to resist the desire to admire the star. Not every um, one manages to follow the advice and some crew members suffer from nausea and headaches. Okay, we're ordering the bridge uh, view uh, windows to uh, to be closed. Interesting star, by the way.
no further resources and we got a couple of unknown ships off we go into our next space battle <clears throat> We also upgraded our ship, respectively, a couple of new weapons, so we should be fine. Not much there is to do in space battle. Bukhari have blocked some of the flagship's posts. I don't like it. We're fighting against, like, what, three different carriers? <coughs> oh, wow, this uh, this one, Bloody cro uh, Blooded Craw Cruiser. Seems to be the biggest one. All right, scanning it. And we are starting with a few torpedoes. Shift over here. And we're saying thank you. Can we move? <clears throat> mm. That's a good start. Wow, that was a really good hit. Forcing that vessel to turn around even further and where is the master of maneuvers there you go mm, barely not capable of um, getting there unfortunate man so unfortunate Port side cannons would have been ready to finish that cruiser. The smaller vessels are trying to kill themselves. They sacrifice themselves. Good. Let's do a few new storms. The Purik storm, that is just great. Matter of fact, all of our abilities are good. We're moving back. Warping a little bit closer, but you can see <coughs> we still can't reach them. Even if we're increasing the range of our shot, that is not enough. Good, turning them around, unfortunately in the wrong direction. Um, give me more maneuvers. Uh, still not happening. Torpedoes now. If you trade them. Never mind. Imperium, take this sacrifice. Wow, we got 200 scraps out of it, and we barely, barely uh, got hit. Yeah, we killed that. Uh, huge vessel like it's no man's uh, business that was good that was a good fight okay and I think we had an upgrade over here orgery and everything else is already upgraded okay
Interesting. Well, since it is Heinrichs' turn to shine, I want to showcase the main party. So let's see how good they really are. Getting them all down to the planet. And I do have a little goodie, um, an extra uh, task that I wanted to showcase as well. All right, we landed. And with that, I wanted to showcase a couple of things. Uh, before we go into the planet, I promised you a little gimmick. And the gimmick, or a little... Uh, mm, a little gift. The gift is a apparently kind of secret item that I have gotten from a vendor called Cogni Simulacrum EF Ultima Octo Decimium. Uh, it itself gives uh, logic, which is uh, cool, I suppose, but it gives a um, ability that's called Solve the Simulacrum, uh, which costs three AP, so it takes away from your combat abilities and triggers a logic uh, test but that test comes in at the penalty of minus 167 on a success that cogni simulacrum is permanently destroyed but you gain the ability uh, called paradox solved the character uses their heroic act regardless of momentum without spending momentum isn't that cool? So Pascal has uh, a little bit over 30% chance, but then we do have this here, the Neurostimulant uh, with another plus 20 to intelligence. So uh, that uh, means we have a solid 50-50 to get that Simulacrum uh, done. And once we have that done, he has a permanent ability, uh, which I think is absolutely cool. That's a nice little feature. For it, however, I needed to uh, equip almost Intriguing. exclusively like logic related items, so he will be not as good in the combat. We are using our prime party this time, so this is uh, the stronger uh, party, the good guys, uh, so to speak, and we're going to see how well they are holding up compared to the others okay overseer you came you came to rescue us praise the god emperor it reached you the sorceress message uh, reached others like him may he rest in peace we are most honored by the presence please come forward those creatures come from the dark you see but not much longer not much longer you're here mistress lichtenhardt has already found a way to help us um we need to hurry Examine the face. Even under the wavering lumens, you notice some strange, uh, the uh, slightly skewed proportions, almost indiscernible asymmetry on the facial figures. Um, looking at the other sentries, you see the same oddity and the fact that they are all wearing the same strange ramshack implant, which uh, clearly are not combat augmentics. Notices, have you? Do not jump to conclusions. It could be. A local genetic anan uh, anomaly. Uh, we can't say anything for sure yet. Please, Lord, our barricades are not very sturdy. Do you think we are trained guardsmen? We are from the expedition convoy. We lived here for generations. The servitors have all gathered in the tunnels. Okay, this looks like a trap. Let's see, Mrs. Lichtenstein. Embrace true power. The Vanquisher combat machine obviously fell from height. Too much time has passed Powers to say unseen. why exactly. Uncover my path. The spikes have been fashioned um, by hand. What a pitiful barricade. Well, apparently we can't go there I yet, but that's unexplored. okay. Let's go in. The chill, where is it coming from? The 
creatures, they are coming. You were but a fleeting flame before oh, my ho, ho, ho. You have been ambushed. Well, let's go, be, uh, girls and boys. Uh, Heinrich gets an extra turn. Helps everyone uh, with a word of the Emperor. Uh, begins to help Let's himself and buffs himself. Lord Captain. And uh, buffs Ulfar. Let's and see. charges in. Uh, completely wrong weapon, but okay. For the throne's glory. I won't object to it. But of course, Lord Captain. Okay, Cassia. Um, can't put any zones down yet. I don't like that part. But let's spread out a little bit. Shall we go to here? Yes. Okay. Ulfar takes an, an extra turn. We're doing that into that. Moves to here, into the middle. And takes a nice little shot. And uh, the combat hasn't even really started yet. Like positions himself over there. Fantastic. Good. Um, listen. There seems to be no obvious leader here. But I need three uh, turns to solve the simulacrum. So what we're going to do ourselves is we give us a neurostimulant for plus 20 intelligence. And I want to start solving the paradox, which I assume has failed, elsewise it would have worked. Solid shot. Unfortunately kills the guardsman, that was indeed quite unfortunate. Good, put a nice little grand strategy there and Pascal is still busy. Quite busy. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Good, Ulfar. Uh, we are going to give you All of the targets in uh, that you could ever ask for. If I may. Um. There you go. In the name of House Orselio, I shall prevail. So shall it be. Cubs All for his heart, man. That was not good. Over, you shall not kill the guardsmen, man. Wow, he killed.
killed three of them by the uh, pure virtue of, of just shooting through them, man. question so everybody here receives a buff and a buff and a buff we don't need healing um, I think Pascal you should With take a couple extra turns it is on cooldown, man. Hmm, that's not good. Okay, not sure where the enemies should be coming from, but we killed everything. Request approved. Running by Nag on the right. The scriptural prognosis is favorable. Yeah, we even got time left over. Oh, okay. Now I can see. Can't hit them, unfortunately. Step aside. The navigator is coming. Good. Uh, let's bring you guys a bit closer, shall we? Apparently can't hit them again. Isn't this a job for the serfs? In which case I am a navigator, not a servitor. Let's just burn them down. Help me, Lord Captain. <clears throat> Throne take you. Let's see to it. Kill the attacking mandrakes. We have done so, and they haven't done anything to us other than uh, killing a couple of uh, the civilians here. So our team definitely is very, very strong. And uh, remind you, this is still on more than unfair difficulty. We're playing on unfair plus, so to speak. Haskell unfortunately couldn't solve it. And he has two items that lets him re-roll logic tests. So he must have rolled really bad. That's a 50% chance times at least two. I don't know if re-rolls allow you to re-roll uh, re again. So it could be even times three. Good, neurostimulant. Let's seize the opportunity. A space wolf never fails in their duty. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, we do have heretical stuff here. Lord Warp, uh, if uh, the war is heretical, um, adherent, uh, they and all of their allies gain 20% dodge and armor. 
but it's just the adherent ones. Okay, that's still the uh, pretty good. By the vile speeches of the foes of humanity. May our faith be strengthened in the face of all corruption and foulness. Operation successful. Whenever the wearer is targeted by an attack of opportunity, they gain one uh, mistake of swift shroud effect. Um, and dodge rating against this attack also when the wearer um, gains MP every time they are targeted by an attack of opportunity on the end of the turn when the wearer expands all of the swift shroud stacks to gain all allies oh that's a fantastic cloak man that's a really good cloak um Sorry for that, but I think I think we're just gonna take that. That's a really good cloak. The world trembles beneath my feet. Imagine the harsh reality when you're living on these planets and the voices uh, start to cover my path. to come in. The symbols on the skin must bleed again, hold him tight. God Emperor, help me. Hmm, the visual description matches the interrogator Van Kalox. You uh, made it here after all. Emilia, what is this? You're performing the Ark Animals ritual? But no, stop right now. Not another move unless I tell you. Who have you brought with you, Kalox? Clearance level? Van Valencius, a rogue trader's dynasty. Territory to galactic west of Furbidandos. The head of the dynasty, Theodora from Valencia, has, uh, has been flecked for heretical sentiments, threat level. Brought the help you requested in the message. A void ship under the aegis of the rogue trader. I dragged thousands of people and megatons of plasteel and ceramide through the bowels of the warp. And for what? To discover that you have sold yourself to the Ark enemy? You're drawing conclusions based on incomplete knowledge, interrogator Van Galox. Your judgment is impaired. What happened here? I came here on the supreme directive of the Lord Inquisitor, an adeptus historica mission established on Phyton IV to study the origins of civilization. The world has once settled by humans. The mission aimed to discover which colony ship they came from and where they disappeared. The traces of the ancient cultures uh, uncovered in layers of soil uh, suggested the existence of primitive solar faith amongst the dark uh, inhabitants of the world. Uh, the surviving scrolls indicate that shamans used the gift of chaos to protect their people, to secure the harvest, to imbue their warriors with strength and vitality. Uh, and th thus, uh, this culture has persisted for thousands of years. I was cataloging data and began at one of the remote outposts. I immediately recognized the enemy and their tactics, Drukhari. They chose unremarkable, defenseless worlds where night lasts half a year. By the time five outposts have been swallowed into darkness, the last astropath has been torn to pieces and many call for help sent the Kalazar's unit had uh, gone unanswered. Heinrich, makes sense for me. Am I going mad or is uh, your colleague a uh, flagrant heresy here? Milia is operating under the assumption uh, that any and all methods are acceptable in the war against humanity. Her reasoning is not infallible, however it um, does contain a grain of truth. If I am to form an assessment of your actions, I must know the purpose of the ritual we interrupted. Answer me. Uh, Emilia, I will rid this world of a half year long night and mandrakes uh, uh, and the mandrakes of the total advantage over us. I will force the new heavenly body 
uh, this one of human making to rise above the horizon and illuminate the dark side of the planet. If the ritual works, it will. I will have mastered the secret of forging a new sun. Heinrichs, this is madness. Madness, pride, and monstrous, staggering heresy. All right, he has a big fat judgment there. Ooh, wow. Do you say you have discovered a ritual for creating a sun here? Buried under the silithia of granite are knowledge and resources that could repel the enemies of humanity. We're too afraid uh, of anything labeling it prohibited. My memories contain thousands upon thousands pages of manuscripts containing any um, of these that are supposed to be guaranteed an instant death. But the priests who claim this are liars. I have proof of the falsehood. Ulfar is like, I'm fine to show you the true colors. Let's see. Um, if you will do what is right once again and prove that you consider yourself above the rules. Lord Ulfar, with all due respect to you and your chapter, keep your mouth shut. The skepticism is the last uh, thing we need right now. Emilia, how, who have I become? Interrogator when um, Kellogg's. I'm what any agent of the Golden Throne is predestined to become if they are able to see through the essence of things I have as the Puritans say succumbed to the heresy of radicalization um, moreover in doing so I am only following the footsteps of our mentor the only difference is that I chose the path um, of the oblationist while he chose the Zeno hybris forging an alliance with the Drukhari what unthinkable accusations, Lord Inquisitor, in a league with the enemy? Emilia, suppress your urge to debate internal matters in the presence of the rogue traitor. Additionally, I will not tolerate any insults uh, to the Lord Inquisitor in my presence. Internal matters, you say? With such a slippery way with language, interrogator from Kellogg's. I detect your mentor's influence. His talent for manipulating and indoctrination in s is second to none. My reminiscenza block of uh, operational data contains numerous entries about the dutiful heir the Lord uh, Inquisitor has molded for himself. Heinrich, I will not discuss that here. And now, I caught you performing a dark ritual. You are no position to rail against puritism. Actors are being driven by this philosophy, Ben Kallak. Mine, yours, the Lord Inquisitors. Why are you avoiding to talk about the fact that Xavier Caldazar is a dangerous radical? No less than I am, except I am not driven by utopian ideas, but by the desire to protect humanity using a broader range of tools. What you call a broader range of tools is heresy, Amelia. Unremarkable, commonplace heresy. Heresy that has taken on twisted forms in a mind subjected to prolonged contract with con uh, corruption. The arch enemy, uh, enemy has begun gnawing at you from within. <laughs> Creating a star with a chaos ritual? You have crossed the line. No, you have obliterated the line. Emilia, the line? The lines are for the weak and uh, ignorant. Anyone capable of weighting the risk and making a calculated decision would have done the same to me. To protect the Imperium's domain, to deliver a preemptive strike, even Von Valencius. You are a simple mortal endowed with huge power and privileges, ruling over a world and holding millions of lives at your palm. Tell me, would you have done the same? I would have not have done the same mistake. Blinked virgin of a narrow mind. A warrant of trade in the hands of such person is a dangerous prospect, of course. Good old shaming tactic once you don't uh, agree with uh, someone. The only one to answer my call and you turn to be a brainwashed pawn. I did not factor in the possibility of psychological dependence. Kalkasar can be persuasive, especially on those who depend on him. A favorite sorcerer? Uh, Casbelican renegade, oh yes, interrogator, when Kalak, Savior Kalazar, stalwarts, little soldier, you will die like, um, like, ter ter like someone. Emilia Lichtenhardt, Tanakia, what do you know about Tanakia? You don't even know what fate befell her, do you? 
I suppose it won't hurt for you to some uh, to know something of it. Strange um, uh, sound causes the sage to fall silent. She turns uh, towards the tunnel. The beast. They come here. The ritual must be completed. We need to block all possible approaches. Light, light. We need lights to dispel the shadows in the corners. Alright. Time. Turn on the lamps here. Okay. Time for some solid ass whooping is what I'm hearing out of all of that. Heinrichs uh, begins to move in. Ulfar moves. Uh, Cassia. Okay, well, we're starting up here. Argenta takes cover there. Saiken so here. Cassia here. And Pascal will be will be making do. Alright, let's start the battle. One step closer. I need no guidance. Good, all of you take the word of the Emperor. I won't object to it. For the throne's glory. Ulfar gets a buff. We ourselves get a buff. We give ourselves forewarning and a little bit of that, and our dodge should be quite good. We're looking at 95%. Okay. We Gucci. Nice point of curiosity. I like that. Isn't this a job for the sir? Put that there. Put that zone here. If I may. Moving back up. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. Wait, wait, wait. This here gives uh, willpower and toughness. Unfortunately, it does not give you uh, intelligence, which we would have needed. But this here gives all characteristics. All right, Pascal. With more characteristics, you might make the test. One, cool, uh, one round cooldown. Too bad. Good. We're <coughs> taking a buff for everyone. <coughs> And look at that. <laughs> he hits for 300. Everybody hits hard nowadays.
Okay, well, that was not bad. Um... You know, since we're already at it, Heinrichs, you get a couple uh, more buffs there as well. And Ulfar. How dare you! Fabulous. More of that, more of that, more of that. Okay, Saiken will... I will triumph. Purpose guides me. I pay your strike shunt. Deal 450 points of damage. I love it. I will not stoop to this. Ulfar gets more buffs. One step closer. And then simply gets the extra turns. I hunger for battle. Feel it in disgrace. Begins to move over here. So it shall be. None can do this better than the order of the old father. Cops Apparently we're missing ninety-five percent uh, shots. <clears throat> that is very strange. So shall Okay. Cool. Good. We have another turn. Through chaos, I stride. Um, well, we can't give it the turn to anyone because we've already given our turns. Heinrichs was not positioned very well there. I'll just get versatility stacks here. That is not the Emperor's will. Doubt is for the weak. As the Emperor commands, I act. I need a foothold. Let's see to it. Good. One light. Still need to do a couple more. For the throne's glory. All right, I think we're okay. I challenge you. We've killed every single one. That's how strong the party is. Okay, we need to obviously get rid of these guys. Um, Kick 
Can we do that again? One round cooldown, it says. I don't understand why it is unavailable. I still hit. My vow is to serve. The Omnissiah knows all, comprehends all. I'll paint your death in colors. Good, Ulfar. The wolf is on the heart. Free reload. <clears throat> Come on, really? Kasia moves to here. Ouch, takes a nasty attack of opportunity. Heals herself. Puts that over here and... Gives Pascal an extra turn, which again he cannot use. Turning on that lamp. Rejoice in battle. I am his will made manifest. Turning on another lamp. Or Gucci. I won't object to it. And turning on a third lamp. I think we're done here. Wasted all of my preparations, all for nothing. Emilia Iona Lichtenhardt. In the name of the Inquisition, you are hereby removed from your post and expelled from the Holy Ordo. The fate of the fallen members of the uh, is a matter for the Ordo heretical archive artifacts obtained in the excavation. And other assets in Lichtenhardt's uh, possession, I hereby declare property of the Holy Inquisition. However, it is for the rogue trader to decide be what becomes of uh, Phyton IV and its people. Let's take the survivors of planet. So be it. Emilia, you are hereby stripped of your special status of the agents of the Golden Throne and all amendments and rights and privileged. I am authorized to use all interrogation measures stipulated in the standard framework for information extraction to ascertain the fate of the um, Aculite Tanika Kalbergria. Uh, Will that be necessary? No. Interrogate the Van, uh, uh, Van Kolox. I have no intention of concealing the information. Almost certain that uh, Tanakia was eliminated on the orders of Xavier Kalazar after being deemed a volatile element. You're lying. 
I saw one of Kalazar's documents uh, when I went to receive my new orders. Uh, only a fleeing glimpse, but with my memory um, like a picked recorder, it was long uh, enough for the contents to be imprinted on my mind. I do know the details. Uh, I do not know the details of uh, the document itself, um, but it was an interrogation transcript with a final annotation indicating the removal of the person from retinue. And we both know how someone leaves the Lord's Inquisition's retinue interrogator, Van Kellox. Tanakia is the Lord Inquisitor's top espionage specialist. Uh, wherever Xavier chose to refrain from making public show of strings, Carl Bergia was invaluable. Why would he do this? I do not know, interrogator from Kellox. Just as I do not know uh, why the Lord Inquisitor sent me to do the non-descript planet as soon as I voiced my concerns about uh, the methods. Just as I do not know um, if I should blame the warp for the lack of responses to my calls for help. All right. The nature of her mission and Xavier's true purpose here in the Expanse was likely why he chose to bury the secret and Tanaki along with it. The operational data indicates that you are the retinue's primary torture specialist, Van Kellox. All the time I thought you were one who conducted Tanakia's interrogations, and one of the reasons why I destroyed my personal data block was to ensure that my own sentiments would not preserve me from thinking rationally when I next encounter you or Kalkazor's other servants. Heinrichs? Emilia Jona Lichtenhardt. Your knowledge is of particular interest for the Inquisition. Before you, uh, your fate is decided, I will carry out the necessary procedures to extract the information. You can assist by providing access to your Renaissance blocks, however, unsealing the inaccessible blocks will require greater force. If you don't like it to be so quiet, Saiken, I can only guess um, at the reason. We're finished here. Uh, the planet will be designated unfit for further use. The risks are simply too great. I will take a few hours uh, to take uh, the excavation site and what uh, the diggers found, but it will not delay us. When we return to the ship, find a minute to speak with me. Intriguing. All right. Okay, well, we've uncovered that heresy. But it's also troubling news to hear uh, that uh, the Lord Inquisitor might be having his own plans. That never goes well if someone of such an amassed power would uh, think that it is a good idea to do feet. Uh, to do something on their own. I'm restless. Embrace true power. But such is the nature of fighting chaos, I suppose. Uh, you are always left with the question, shall you go, th go all of uh, the way and use all means necessary, or are you committing heresy? So, I don't know. You decide. Would you have, um, would you have given in to her thoughts? I think um, she had a couple of valid points until she said that she was interested in creating a whole new sun. Uh, that, uh, that was a bit too far. Specifically with a massive chaos ritual, which typically includes sacrificing people. Let's seize the opportunity. Alright. I think that's it for today, for this episode. We're going to uh, look into... 
uh, the other quests relatively soon but I think Heinrichs's part is almost over he just wanted to ca uh, do have one more conversation with us maybe we're just listening to that and then wrapping up the episode good Heinrichs Lord Captain, I thank you for your assistance with my mission what ha will happen with there Amelia of breaking into her memory and extracting the secrets she is still keeping within herself I will see to it that no secret escapes the grasp of the Holy Ordos. This is not the first time, or the last, I fear, that I will cause the death of someone close to me. There have always been reasons for it. Sometimes the reasons are dictated by duty, sometimes by my own personal volition. Should we be concerned? It is dangerous information, but you are already too deeply involved. In the Inquisition, there are two main philosophies, Puritanism and Radicalism. The adherents of the former are conservatives who strive to follow the letter of inquisitorial doctrine in all matters. The Radicals are more pragmatic. They believe that the end often justifies the means, and they use tools that a Puritan would condemn as heretical. Emmelina used the powers of chaos to gain the upper hand against Xenos. I touched a cogitator built by cultists to learn its secrets. None of us is pure. Xavier. The craven hearted say that the career of every Inquisitor ends in either death or heresy. The Lord Inquisitor has borne this burden longer than any of us. It would be naive to think that he had only ever used Puritan methods, and even more naive to suggest that such methods have in any way weakened his loyalty to the God Emperor. And that is all I will say on the subject. What are you going to do now that this is done? I will remain part of your retinue. That will not change. I will continue to accompany you until I receive orders to the contrary from the Lord Inquisitor, if ever. Who knows? Perhaps one day my journey will end like Emmelina's, but that day is not today. All right, fantastic. But you know, the day that this episode ends is today. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Appreciate it, and uh, see you in the next episode. Have a good one, and uh, ask a couple of questions to the like button, interrogate it thoroughly so that you can extract information. Have a good one. Bye-bye.